So dear students, last time we have discussed about the genetic code and now we are going to discuss about one more topic of the molecular genetics that is ribonucleic acid, RNA. RNA is a primitive nucleic acid that develops about 3.7 billion years ago. It is simply a polynucleotide chain and is made up of large number of nucleotides and each nucleotide in turn is composed of the ribose sugar it is composed of the nitrogenous bases the nitrogenous bases in RNA are adenine, guanine, cytosine and uracil Thymine is absent and instead of thymine, uracil is present and it is composed of phosphoric acid. Thus simply RNA is a polynucleotide chain. It is a nucleic acid and is composed of large number of nucleotides and each nucleotide in RNA is composed of sugar that is ribose, 5 carbon sugar, nitrogenous bases in RNA are adenine, guanine, cytosine and uracil. Thymine is absent in RNA and instead of thymine, uracil is present and it is composed of phosphoric acid. RNA is of two types. One is called as the genetic RNA and second one is called as the non-genetic RNA. The genetic RNA is the RNA that acts as genetic material in such organisms in which the DNA is absent. It acts as a genetic material in retroviruses, in certain viruses. And the second type of RNA is non-genetic RNA. The RNA that is found in the cells in which DNA acts as the genetic material and this non-genetic RNA is of three types. One is called as messenger RNA, second one is called as transfer RNA and third one is called as ribosomal RNA. And these all three types of RNA plays a significant role in the protein synthesis. Okay? Now, dear students, now we are going to discuss about messenger RNA. So you have to simply remember the non-genetic RNA is of three types messenger RNA, transfer RNA and ribosomal RNA and now we are going to discuss about the messenger RNA. Okay, what is mRNA? The RNA that receives information from the sense strand of DNA is called as messenger RNA. It is also known as informational RNA. As this RNA receives the information from the DNA for the synthesis of the proteins. Okay. Now the messenger RNA is also called as heterogeneous nuclear RNA. The population of mRNA varies inside the cell and thus it's also known as heterogeneous nuclear RNA as the mRNA synthesizes from the each gene of the cell. Most important point, the mRNA constitutes 5% of the total RNA present in the cell. Okay? In case of eukaryotes, one cistron, that means one gene, synthesizes or transcribes one mRNA and it's known as monocystronic mRNA. Monocystronic mRNA. That means in eukaryotic organisms, one cistron or one gene transcribes only one messenger RNA and it's called as monocystronic mRNA. While as in case of prokaryotic organisms, one cistron transcribes more than one messenger RNA and it is called as polycystronic mRNA. So that means in prokaryotic organisms, 
one cistron transcribes more than one messenger RNA and it's called as polycystronic mRNA. Okay. Now, dear students, we are going to discuss about the structure of messenger RNA. The term messenger RNA was coined by Jacob and Manet. Jacob and Manet were the two scientists that proposed the term messenger RNA. As per the structure of mRNA is concerned, the mRNA has a linear structure. The mRNA has a straight structure and it is the longest RNA among the three different types of non-genetic RNA. Now once we analyze the structure of the messenger RNA, the messenger RNA has a linear structure, the messenger RNA has a straight structure. As per its structure is concerned, it's composed of following components. It has a 5 dash cap, it has non-coding region first, it has initiation codon, it has coding sequence, it has termination codon, it has non-coding region second and it has a 3 dash tape. So that means as per the structure of the mRNA is concerned, it has a linear or straight structure. And it's composed of the following components. It has a 5 dash cap at the 5 dash end. After 5 dash cap, it's followed by non coding region first. Later on, it's followed by initiation coda. Later on, it's followed by coding sequence. After that, is found the termination coda. After that, is non coding region second. And at the 3 dash end, is present a tail. It's sometimes called as poly A tail. Now, please. As the mRNA is synthesized in 5 dash 3 dash polarity, 5 dash 3 dash direction, at the 5 dash end, the messenger RNA has a cap and it's called as 5 dash cap. Okay. Actually, it's sometimes called as 5 dash methylated cap. The 7 methyl guanosine adds first nucleotide of mRNA by establishing 5 dash 5 dash triphosphate bridge in presence of enzyme guanine transferase that's why we sometimes called it as 5 dash methylated cap so dear students what's the function of the cap first important function the cap protects the mrna from the degradation of enzymes that means the cap protects the mRNA from the degradation of the enzymes. And second, second, the mRNA attaches with the smaller subunit of the ribosome with its cap at the time of protein synthesis. It means that if we have an mRNA and that mRNA is devoid of the cap, that mRNA does not contain the cap that means that particular mrna cannot synthesize the protein thus cap is very essential for the synthesis of the protein so simply you have to remember the cap performs two typical functions number first it protects the mrna from the degradation of the enzymes and number second is that it attaches with the smaller subunit of the ribosome at the time of the protein synthesis the cap is followed by non-coding region first. Non-coding region first is composed of 10 to 100 bases and it does not code any amino protein, it does not code any amino acid. After non-coding region first, there is present the initiation codon. Initiation codon, as we have discussed in the earlier lecture, the codon that starts the protein synthesis is called as initiation codon. Initiation codon is usually AUG, UG, but in case of protein synthesis, GUG, GUG, also acts as an initiation codon. Initiation codon is followed by coding sequence. It's followed by coding sequence. The coding sequence includes the 
sequence on the messenger RNA that codes the different amino acids. It includes the sequence of the mRNA that codes the different amino acids. That means it is the most significant part of the mRNA. For example, we have, we have U, U, U. We have U, C, G. We have G, C, G. So these are the different codons that codes the different amino acids. For example, it codes phenylalanine, it codes, for example, lysine, it codes, for example, tryptophan. So that means different amino acids get combined together to form the different types of the proteins. So it is the coding sequence of the messenger RNA that determines the synthesis of a particular protein. After coding sequence, there is found a termination codon. Termination codon means the codon that stops the process of protein synthesis. Termination codon includes UAA, UAG and UGA. These are the codons that terminates the polypeptide chain. These are the codons that stops the process of protein synthesis. So these are known as termination codons. Termination codons are followed by non-coding region second. It's composed of 100 to 150 base pairs and does not code any amino acid or any protein. At the 3 dash end is present the tail. It's sometimes called as poly A tail as the tail is composed of large number of adenine molecules. The tail also protects the messenger RNA from the degradation of the enzymes and the mRNA is connected with the nuclear envelope with its tail. The mRNA is connected with the nuclear envelope inside the nucleus with its tail. The tail is called as poly A tail as it contains large number of adenine molecules, adenine base pairs and the tail protects the mRNA from the degradation of the enzymes. In addition to that, in addition to that, the tail is attached with the nuclear envelope of the nucleus and the messenger RNA gets released from the nucleus inside the cytoplasm with the help of its tail. Okay. So this was about the structure of the messenger RNA. This was about the structure of the messenger RNA. The RNA that is synthesized from the sense strand of the DNA. It contains 5 dash cap. It contains non-coding region first, initiation codon, coding sequence, non-termination codon, non-coding region second and 3 dash tail. Now the last, last point, last point. Messenger RNA is synthesized inside the nucleus in case of eukaryotic organisms. Okay. Now this mRNA that is synthesized inside the nucleus how to transport from the nucleus into the cytoplasm for the synthesis of the proteins. The mRNA is not transported as such but the mRNA combines with special type of the proteins. And these proteins help the mRNA so that it can pass through the nuclear pores. And mRNA plus protein is known as informosome. That means it's not the mRNA that's transported from the nucleus inside the cytoplasm for the synthesis of the protein. But it is the informosome that is transported from the nucleus to the cytoplasm for the synthesis of the protein. So dear students, this was about the structure of the messenger RNA. Okay, thank you.